Are you hungry yet? Are you thirsty? Do you want to finish this conversation and talk about something else? Are you bored? Have, has anybody done anything that's irritated you? Because all of the time in our inner world, there's this sort of seething little dialogue, a background conversation going on. I started to think about what boredom was. And my definition or my distinction for what boredom is all about is, is that it's the effect of suppressing something. When I'm bored, it's because there's a thought or a feeling inside me that is so intense or uncomfortable that I can't bring it out. And so I distract myself and then I become bored and I lose focus. There are all sorts of ways in a qualitative project that you can get bored. The first is that as you start out on that long list of groups and depth interviews, you can find out so much in the first two or three that you think, God, I've found out so much, I've now got 10 more to go and I'm not hearing anything new. And your mind and attention seems to wander. The second way is, of course, that you can have a schedule of groups and field work that's so intense that you just cannot stay with the intensity of the activity. And you find yourself distracting and getting bored and thinking, oh my God, there's another four groups to go. And then resentment starts to rise. Another is that you can get bored because you've completed your field work and now you know you've got the analysis part of the program to go through. And you've got a tremendous lot of tapes and things to listen to and things to review. And of course, you never know whether you're really going to hit on the insights or the, or the discoveries that you may have promised in your proposal. The rising up of boredom in any of qualitative project comes from two, the impact of two, two feelings or two emotions. From anxiety, will I be able to deliver? And also from the intensity of this practice. It's like being on the road doing gigs. You know, night after night you're doing this work. And it's very difficult to sustain your curiosity, your fascination, your engagement without from time to time dropping out. So because of the anxiety and intensity of our work, you're going to find it hard to sustain your interest throughout a project. And the thing to do is to acknowledge it. So you need to stop pushing boredom away or pretending that you're never bored, owning it and acknowledging it, and then you can work through it.